Welcome and every night during the Bobdale Gloves CFR on Shaw, we're going to take the opportunity to catch up with one of our elite athletes at the Canadian Finals Rodeo. Tonight I'm joined by Scott Byrne, 14 times to the CFR. How does it feel? Great. I mean to get back here every year. We're voted on by all the top bull riders in Canada every year and, and for that to happen and for me to be able to have the opportunity to stand out in the arena at the Canadian Finals Rodeo every year, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Now I'm going to touch on it a little bit. It's your final year. You've announced that it's been the Scott Byrne farewell tour all year long. How does it feel sinking in? Five performances, six performances left. You know, you're right. Everybody, all the committees I've worked for and all the places I've, I've gone and fight bulls this year, they've been super. And, you know, I kind of just procrastinate about it all year that, you know, the, the end would never come. But I got six more performances to go here counting tonight. And, uh, yeah, it's starting to sink in a little bit. But first and foremost, I got a job to do for the next six performances. And I'll do that and we'll take care of the emotional part on Sunday. Oh, that's good. You've seen rodeo change a lot over your years bullfighting. What would you say are a couple of the biggest changes? Well, you know, I think the exposure of rodeo has come a long way in, in the 20 years I've been involved. And, you know, all, as well as, as us being defined as athletes, I think we've really worked hard at that, and I think it's a good thing. I mean, we deserve, as rodeo athletes, to be treated just as, as good as a professional baseball player in a professional race car or hockey player. And uh, I think a lot of us have worked hard to, to make that a point. Now, we have a little bit of film here and we want to show something. Tell us about Wainwright and you and Wolf Creek. You know, just what I was doing, what we're paid to do. I was, I was out there and, and uh, a bull rider got thrown off and, and we shoot the gap and make sure that those guys can uh, take the hit for them and make sure they can go on and be safe and, and healthy the next day. And that's our job. That's what we're paid for. That's why we're out there. Now that's one of two videos that we had. The second one is from Calgary. Scott Schiffner gets hung up in his bull rope. You know, uh, when, when a bull rider hangs a spur in a rope, there's really no way you can teach that. There's no way you can be taught that. It's just reaction. And, and that wreck that day was, was one of the longest and the worst that I've ever seen. Not only did he hook his, his spur in the rope once, we got him kind of out of that and he hooked it on the flank on the way out. So um, once again, you just do what you gotta do. Put your body on the line and make sure you're taking the brunt of that whole wreck. Let's switch gears a bit as you and I had the opportunity together this year at the Okotoks Pro Rodeo. Our kids got to participate in the Wild Pony Race and win a buckland. They were about as proud as anyone could be. Yeah, I had a nine-year-old that didn't want to, he wanted to sleep with it and shower with it on and everything. <laughs> and, you know, that's a big thing. That's, uh, that is the future of rodeo. That is, uh, that's what starts our young cowboys. Well, and let's go there. Where do you see rodeo heading from here post Scott Byrne? You know, you know, I always say the show will go on without Scott Byrne, and, and it truly will. We're, we're seeing some major changes right now. Um, we've, we, we're stumbling sometimes, but we're getting back up and, and we're charging forward. And, and I mean, it's this the future. We have to make sure that we have this sport and we have this association for our kids. And we got to make sure that we push forward and, and get it out there so, so it's a household name and everybody wants to come and watch it. Have a product. Use you know, use our athletes, um, let them, let people be able to, to, to converse with our athletes and, and really get up close and personal as much as we can. What's the one thing, there's a lot of guys that I want to be Scott Byrne, I want to be the best there is. If you could give them a piece of advice, what would it be? Never quit and try hard. 100% will never do in, in my chosen profession it's 110 every day you know that's awesome and we'll get to watch you i'm going to put you on the spot a bit here and we didn't talk about this before if there's one or two bull riders that you'd want to see do well at this cfr maybe win it who would it be and why mike you know what as a bullfighter i want every one of them to win and uh i mean i every time a guy nods his head i'm hoping he's 100 points so Whatever guy walks out of there on Sunday with that gold buckle around his waist, I'm going to be more than happy to shake his hand and congratulate him. Well, that's awesome. I want to th shake your hand. Thanks for coming in, Thank Scott. You, sir. It's been an awesome. He's retiring this year. He's been one of the most amazing bullfighters that we will ever see in Canadian professional rodeo. Scott Byrne, it's been an honor to have you with us. Thank you very much.